algebraic equation, a basic algebraic equation that most of us are uh, familiar with. So when viewing the financial statements from a standpoint of finance, for example, then obviously we usually think of it in terms of an accounting equation, breaking out the balance sheet into the accounting equation of assets equal liabilities plus equity. So that's what we'll focus in on here. If you have the whole concept down from an accounting equation standpoint, you'll probably be able to visualize it possibly a little bit easier in terms of which side of the equation is going up and down. What are the impacts of that? And then you would like to be able to switch in your mind to go from accounting equation to debits and credits. You'd like to be able to code switch if you're working in the accounting department back and forth, ideally between viewing it in your mind from an accounting equation standpoint and viewing it in your mind from a debit and a credit type of standpoint. So I just want to say though, that the fact that we're building the practice problem using the accounting equation does not mean for accountants it's a good idea to just not learn the debits and credits because again, they are very practical from a data input standpoint. However, again, we wanna be able to code switch. Okay, that's the idea. Now the basic accounting equation is simply gonna be assets equal liabilities plus equity. Noting that we could algebraically rewrite that multiple different ways because we could subtract the liabilities from each side, for example, getting assets minus liabilities equal equity, or we could subtract equity from each side. However, that formula or format is possibly not as practical or useful or as often used as the first two. So the accounting equation from an accountant perspective is formatted this way. I'm gonna scroll in a bit. Assets equal liabilities plus equity because that basically breaks down to the concept of debits and credits or the idea that the asset 